Good morning, folks. It is a day of talking about space weather, and even though after yesterday's central filament eruption, the only sort of eruptive activity we had was on the departing northwestern limb as a filament ripped away, let's go over to spaceweathernews.com and take a look at the last 24 to 36 hours on our star, making sure we can see that eruption from around this time yesterday morning. It was indeed center disk located, and some of the endless spirals have now been updated. NOAA's here showing a possible glancing blow, but in a few days, four or five, so it would be tremendously weak. And NASA's Enlil Spiral shows about the same, but a little sooner, still a glancing blow. On the satellites, it is difficult to see where the glancing blow would be coming from as the bulk mass, and indeed most of the CME, if not all, appears to be heading to the left, which is behind our orbital path around the sun, which would be to the right from our perspective here. The sunspots that were born during the filament release have continued to grow but have yet to flare. They do have somewhat simple magnetism but any morphing or growth and that could start interacting in a big way. Coronal hole here, dark and extending from the south pole, now beginning to depart and its solar wind will arrive in another day or so. We are still weak in that stream now. Same with the geomagnetism, calming considerably but Things were relatively calm yesterday when I reported this PC pulsation and strong geomagnetic event over Europe. The global KP was zero, but NASA's Tony Phillips is confirming that Karuna, the same station that showed the pulsations, was recording a localized KP7, which is a strong geomagnetic storm. Going to be doing a bit of weather here. Looking first at the United States, we see most of the West Coast taking that system in some form or another, either rain or snow. Some of the wintry events in the UK, like that hailstorm over the last 36 hours, appears that it is not quite done just yet. Last of the system rolling through, and then at the eastern part of Australia, we do see a system about to move out to sea, but not before dropping a little precipitation of its own. Website members at suspiciousobservers.org. Yesterday's Fly on the Wall podcast was fun. We've also switched up the menu a bit for you there. We greatly appreciate your support, and we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here. But right now, it's 5.35 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.